Today, we are going to cover everything you need to know about cooking spaghetti squash. This winter squash has a noodle-like texture once it's cooked and can be served as a nutrient-rich alternative to pasta or as an easy vegetable side dish. In this video, we will cover how to choose a good spaghetti squash, the easiest way to cut it, and how to cook it whole or in half. If you're in a hurry, you can also cook your spaghetti squash in the Instant Pot, and I have another video showing you how to do that if you want to check that out. When shopping for spaghetti squash, you can tell you're picking a ripe one when the color is golden or dark yellow and it feels heavier than it looks. The riper the spaghetti squash is, the firmer the skin will be. Avoid a squash that looks pale or has soft spots or cracks on the outside and make sure the stem looks dry. Now that you know how to pick a good one, let's talk about how to cut a spaghetti squash. The most common way you'll see this squash cut is lengthwise. So that's what we're going to cover first, but in my opinion, this is also the most challenging method. To slice a spaghetti squash lengthwise, it's easiest if you pierce a sturdy knife into the center where the squash is the most hollow. From there, you can carefully move your way down the squash. When you get towards an end, let gravity help you by banging the squash against a cutting board to help the knife break through. Just make sure your fingers are a very safe distance away from the knife. Continue cutting along the other side of the squash until you reach the top. Then you can pull the halves apart until the stem area splits in half. Alternatively, you can cut the top off the squash first and then stand it up to cut the squash vertically. But for me, this method was much more challenging than simply starting in the center of the squash where it's the most hollow. Typically, I only cut spaghetti squash in half lengthwise when I plan on using it for a recipe like stuffed spaghetti squash boats, where I want each half to sit upright on their own like little bowls. It's even easier to cut a spaghetti squash crosswise because then you're only cutting through the hollow center instead of the tougher ends. When you cut a spaghetti squash crosswise, you'll also wind up with longer spaghetti squash noodles. You can also skip cutting your spaghetti squash altogether and simply cook it whole. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Now that the spaghetti squash is cut in half, it's time to scoop out the center. Use a spoon to scoop out the middle of the squash and save the seeds if you'd like to roast them later. To roast the spaghetti squash, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and place the squash halves on a rimmed baking sheet. Brush the insides of the squash with a drizzle of olive oil, then sprinkle them generously with salt and black pepper. Flip the squash over so the cut side is facing down, then roast until the squash looks darker and is tender about 45 minutes for a three to three and a half pound squash. A fork should be able to easily pierce the outside of the shell when it's done. Let the squash cool for about 10 to 15 minutes so it's easier to handle, then use a fork to scrape the spaghetti-like strands from the inside of the squash. They are delicious on their own, or you can serve them with your favorite pasta sauce. If you'd rather not cut through the tough spaghetti squash shell, I don't blame you. And the good news is you can cook a spaghetti squash whole. To cook a whole squash in the oven, you'll preheat it to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and pierce the squash a few times with a knife to help it vent as it cooks. Place the squash on a rimmed baking sheet and cook it until the shell gets darker and your kitchen smells fragrant, about 60 to 70 minutes, depending on the size of your spaghetti squash. Test the squash with a fork to make sure it's tender, and then you can slice into it as soon as it's cool enough to handle. The downside of cooking a spaghetti squash whole is that it can be a little trickier to scoop out the seeds in the center without losing some of that good cooked squash along with it. But it's not a bad trade-off if you're intimidated to cut into the tough shell of the uncooked squash. I hope this spaghetti squash tutorial has been helpful and be sure to check out my other recipe ideas for using your baked spaghetti squash over on my website, detoxinista.com.